If I asked you, what is the most important organ in your body, what would be the first thing that comes to mind? Would it be your brain, your heart, your lungs? Although all of these are very important, you might not know that the liver is without a doubt one of the most important organs in the human body. Even though I have been seeing doctors for a long time to take care of my HIV infection, I was not really aware of the significance of the liver until I found out that I also have hepatitis C infection. What's up with you, Zaki? We haven't seen you in a while. Is everything alright, man? Yeah, you didn't even show up for the Sepak Takra game. Yes, I have something very important to share. I was recently told by my HIV doctor that I have something called Hepatitis C. The doctor says that Hepatitis C is an infection of my liver that can cause serious damage to my health. Hepatitis C? Hmm, I've never heard about this. What is it? Yeah, and what does the liver have to do with hepatitis C? Oh, Zaki, I am so sorry to hear this. Are you going to be alright, my friend? Thanks, Kat. I know you are all concerned about me. Well, I have been discussing this with my doctor and did some research to learn more. Since you are my close friends, I want you to know about hepatitis C too, and I can share with you what I've learned. But before that, do you even know exactly what the liver is and how important it is for our lives? Not much, but we would love to learn more. Yeah, yeah, please tell us more about the liver. The liver, my friends, is the body's largest internal organ. It is here on the right side of our abdomen under the ribs. It plays many key functions to help us stay alive and healthy. The liver cleans up our blood by removing toxins. It changes food into energy and helps with blood clotting which is what helps us stop bleeding after we get a cut. Even though I take medicines for my HIV infection, I did not know that it's the liver that processes medicines for my body to help them do their job. Wow, I never knew this. I feel so thankful to my liver for helping me to be alive and staying healthy. So what does hepatitis have to do with the liver? Hepatitis just means inflammation of the liver. Inflammation is a natural reaction of the body to an injury or an infection. For example, hepatitis can be caused by an infection like with the hepatitis C virus or by drinking too much alcohol. Some medicines can also cause hepatitis. When hepatitis is caused by a virus, it's called viral hepatitis. The viruses that cause hepatitis include the hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E viruses. Hepatitis A is transmitted through contaminated food and water. It is usually not a dangerous infection, and there is a vaccine you can get to prevent it. Hepatitis B is transmitted by infected blood, through sex, and sharing needles. It can also be passed from an infected mother to her baby. Hepatitis B can be pretty serious, but there is also a vaccine to prevent it. Hepatitis D and E are not as common, and there are no vaccines against them. I've been diagnosed with Hepatitis C. I was shocked to learn that around 130 to 180 million people are infected with Hepatitis C around the world. I'm sure you all had no clue about this either. Not at all. Is there a vaccine for it? No. Unfortunately, there is no Hepatitis C vaccine. Do you know how you got infected with Hepatitis C? Do you think you got it like HIV? Yeah, that's a good question, Kat. That was the first question I asked my doctor when I was told that I had Hepatitis C too. My doctor said that Hepatitis C is transmitted through blood-to-blood -blood contact. For example, through exposure to blood and blood products that are contaminated with Hepatitis C if the blood has not been tested first. 
sharing equipment for injecting drugs, like heroin. Unclean tattooing and piercing. Use of unclean or reuse medical materials, like if you get a medicine injection using a syringe that was used for someone else before. Sharing razors, which could have tiny amounts of blood on them. Having unprotected sex, and from a mother to her baby, during pregnancy or delivery. So it's almost like HIV, right? Yes, it's similar, but for example, the risk through unprotected sex is lower for hepatitis C than HIV. In my case, I'm not sure if I got it around the same time I got HIV, or the same way. My doctor says that the important thing is not how I got hepatitis C, but how long I have had it in my body, and how much damage it has already done to my liver. And how exactly does hepatitis C affect the liver? Can it cause serious damage? When hepatitis C virus enters your body, it is carried by the blood to the liver. It multiplies in the liver and causes inflammation. The liver cells then die, and over time are replaced by scarring, something that my doctor called fibrosis. There are four stages of liver fibrosis. F1, minimal fibrosis. F2, moderate fibrosis. F3, severe fibrosis. And F4, when you have something called cirrhosis. When it reaches the cirrhosis stage, it means that there are a lot of dead cells and scarring in the liver. It can reach the point where the liver stops working. This is called liver failure, and it can lead to death. This makes me worried. I had a blood transfusion many years ago. How can I be checked for hepatitis C? Me too. I have multiple piercings and tattoos. I feel scared as well. Oh, calm down, Max and Cat. Let's ask Zaki more about this first. Zaki, did you have any signs or symptoms? Did you feel sick? Well, actually... People who are infected for a long time with hepatitis rarely feel sick unless their livers are really damaged, so it's important to get tested. I myself had no major symptoms, except that I had been feeling tired for a while. I only found out about the hepatitis C infection because some of my blood tests at the HIV clinic were not normal, and my doctor said I should have a hepatitis C test. Having a blood test for hepatitis C is the only way to make sure whether or not you are infected. I remember now. I saw the advertisement the other day that said life loves a liver, encouraging people to get tested for hepatitis C. There are three different tests that can be used to diagnose hepatitis C infection. The first is a hepatitis C antibody test. If one is infected with hepatitis C, the body develops antibodies to try to fight against the virus. They can be detected with a blood test. That's the first test my doctor did to find out if I had hepatitis C. But a positive antibody test only means that someone has been infected in the past. My doctor said that one out of every four people with hepatitis C infection manages to get rid of it by themselves within two to six months. Their antibody test will remain positive for life. People with positive antibody tests need another test to check if they are still infected. The hepatitis C viral load test can detect and even count how much of the virus is in the blood. If the viral load test is negative, it usually means that the person does not have the infection anymore. My doctor ordered a hepatitis C viral load test for me, which was also positive, confirming that I have chronic hepatitis C infection. A third test that can be done is called a genotype test. It detects what exact type of hepatitis C you have. I learned that there are six different types of hepatitis C, called genotypes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The main difference is that some are easier to cure than others. For example, genotypes 2 and 3 are easier to treat than genotypes 1, 4, and 6. I still don't know which one I have. But does that mean everyone who does not get rid of their hepatitis C virus will develop fibrosis and cirrhosis and die? No. I found out that hepatitis C infection happens like this. If you take 100 people who have chronic hepatitis C infection, about 30 people may never actually develop liver problems, 
but they can still transmit their infection to others if there is blood-to-blood -blood contact. The other 70 people may develop some liver damage, but they could have no symptoms or only just mild symptoms, like being tired or having abdominal pain. After about 20 years, 10 or 15 of these people will have developed cirrhosis, and 5 to 7 people will develop liver failure or liver cancer. So not everyone with hepatitis C will have problems with their livers, but the risk is still pretty high. Hmm, so how can you or someone else with hepatitis C know how much damage has already been done to the liver? That's a very important question, Hi. First, there are some simple blood tests that can tell if there is inflammation in the liver, called AST and ALT tests. It was my ALT test that was higher than normal and led my doctors to want to check if I had hepatitis C. Then there are specific tests to check for liver fibrosis. The first is something called a fibroscan, which is a special type of ultrasound that can tell how stiff the liver is, and like this, how much fibrosis is present. It's an easy test, but it may not work in about 5 to 10 percent of patients. My doctor said I should get a fibroscan soon. Another way to check for fibrosis is to take a piece of the liver out of the body with a special needle to look at it under a microscope. It is called a biopsy. But hold on, what's the point of checking all this? I'd rather not find out I have hepatitis C if I'm just going to end up being scared of liver damage and cancer. But hi, there is a treatment for hepatitis C. My doctor told me it can even be cured in many cases. I was so relieved when I found this out. My doctor said that the treatment is a combination of medicines called pegylated interferon and ribavirin that are given for 6 or 12 months. Whether you need to start treatment depends on whether the liver already has fibrosis or not. My doctor said that hepatitis C can be cured in 30 to 90 percent of people who start treatment, depending on different factors. My doctor also said that the treatment can be tough and can cause side effects like depression, anemia, fatigue. But if I need treatment and it can cure my hepatitis C infection, I'm ready to try it. It's called the liver because we can't live without it. And are there situations where people cannot receive the treatment, like because of something else wrong with their health? Yes, that's true. If I need treatment, the doctor told me that we will need to do a few more tests to make sure that I don't have conditions like anemia that could interfere with hepatitis C treatment. And Kat, he warned me that pregnant women should absolutely not get treatment because it can cause problems to their babies. Thanks for explaining all of that. What has your doctor suggested you do next? Well, I will need to do a fibroscan to know if I need treatment now, and perhaps a genotype test. But whether or not I will start treatment, there are things I have been advised to do in order to support my liver. The most important thing is to avoid drinking too much alcohol. Drinking alcohol, especially in large amounts, can cause liver inflammation, which can make hepatitis C infection worse. Another thing is to avoid taking medicines that may damage my liver. I need to review any medicines I want to take with my doctor to make sure they are okay. This even includes herbal medicines and vitamins. Abstain from smoking, maintaining a healthy lifestyle with a balanced diet. Regular exercise is also important. I'm sorry for asking a selfish question, but do we have to be careful when we hang out with you to avoid getting hepatitis C too? No problem, Max. I'm glad you asked. And I asked myself the same question, as I didn't want my family and friends to be at risk. The good news is that hepatitis C is not transmitted through social contact, so it is safe to touch, hug, and kiss family and friends, and to share cups, plates, and utensils. But hepatitis C can be transmitted in different ways as I told you, and there have been cases where people got infected a second time with a different type of hepatitis C, or reinfected after hepatitis C treatment so it's important to avoid all the ways hepatitis C can be transmitted. Life is precious and so are our livers. I'm determined to find out whether I need hepatitis C treatment and if I can safely take it. 
I was so sad when I found out I had HIV several years ago, but after I started antiretroviral treatment, my HIV came under control. I love my life so much that I can't let this hepatitis C damage my liver now. There is a treatment which could cure me. Our liver is our life giver, and life loves the liver. Yeah, yeah life, life loves, loves the, the liver. liver.